way. If I didn't have to be in here, I would have. Uh, all right, guys, I'm in a real hurry because my son's playing on the computer right now, so that's why I rushed in here. Really proud of our group. Played a good team. They wanted to play a slow game. Uh, we figured out how to get the game going a little bit faster. Another slow start for us. Am I concerned? Yes and no. Um, sometimes when you get the number seven in front of your name and you really haven't quite earned it, you think you're supposed to beat everybody by 25 in each half, and that's not the case in college basketball. So we relaxed a little bit right before half. Talked about that about the eight-minute mark of the first half. And then the second half, we, we really played well. And we put a press in this week, and they hadn't seen it. It worked for us. The guys were good in it. Got the game going a little bit better. Then we made a few shots. We're missing a lot of wide open shots, but we made a few uh, there in the second half. Pat? Jackman's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why. Our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win, and you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing, and you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9% .9 reliability isn't good enough, call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 or on the web at cagfederal.com. Mark, uh, defensively, now two games in a row, it seems like that's been pretty sharp for you guys in yeah. general, whether it's zone or whatever. Yeah. How pleased are you with how much this group has embraced that in the four so far? Yeah, so um, we were able to do something different today. We were doubling the post big, big, which we haven't, we, we practiced it a little bit before um, Rhode Island, but didn't use it, and we used it today. So I was really proud of that and how we rotated out of it. And uh, so that's a, that's a start for us. Um, our out of bounds on the defense is frustrating me a little bit. Um, not recognizing a certain situation, so that's got to get better. Run and jump was good for us today. The 1-3-1 one, one was good for us the other game. So we have multiple defenses uh, that, that really help us and kind of change the tempo of the game. Um, you guys now have you know, three consecutive games with at least 22 fast break points. You know, how impressed have you been with yeah, I, I think we can play better in transition. I think we jumped off one leg too many times and took some crazy layups, um, turned it over in transition in the first half. Uh, second half was a little bit more like us, and we still missed probably four or five wide up, wide up threes. Hopefully in transition on those threes, we'll rebound better offensively. Um, so that's the way we want to play. We're deep, extremely deep. Um, and so... Uh, yeah, I think we can do that. Now, there's going to be certain teams that send four guys back on every shot. That'll be a little bit different, and that's why we got to get better in our half-court offense. Second one here. Coach, can you just talk about the importance of the 11-0 run in the final three minutes to close out? Yeah, it was big. I, 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 no, it was, I thought it was 11 too, so that's, I have to fire one of my assistants. But uh, uh, no, it was great. And we, we just kept guarding. We just kept guarding. We kept guarding. We kept guarding. And then we just made a couple shots. Really, we got the ball to sticks. Did the turn and face jump where he did the left hook, and then Wicks hit the shot right before half. I think Anthony might have made one in there uh, too. So we just we just made shots, made plays, and we just kept guarding, and that's how we were able to do it. That's your coach. Uh, Daryl had a team high 14 points. Yeah. He scored 12 of those in the very early part of the yeah. uh, second half. There was there anything that you said to him at halftime? Mm -hmm. Did you see? Were there any adjustments made that, that kind of sparked that for him? No. You know, I love layups and wide open threes. So Daryl got two layups to start the second half, and that kind of got him going, and he made the three. So, um, you know, the one thing that we don't talk about is how much time our guys spend in the gym. And Daryl's in the gym every night because he wants to be a guy that you have to guard, you know, and he, and he made – so it's good for a guy like that to put so much time in to make shots, and defensively he's always good for us. So. We made up, guys, we made over like, I think over 3,000 threes since the Rhode Island game in practice. So we're going to start making more of them. We, we shoot a lot of them. We're going to make more of them. I like to be a little more balanced, twos and threes, score a little bit more around the basket in both halves, and, and I think that would help us. Thank you.
Um, so maybe much more of an issue early on than in the last 30 minutes of the game. Is that, is that just a matter of them settling into the game, or what, what do you see from the change? Well, one is, we're, you know, they were ready for us. They, they had a game plan. They walked it up. They guarded us well. They switched every ball screen. Uh, it took us a while to, because I didn't work on it. And I do, you know, I know I shouldn't say that because people like, oh, what's he doing? I do it for a reason so guys can learn during the game and get better on their own and adjust during the game because you got to teach guys how to adjust quickly in games. So the way they guarded it took us a little while to get used to it. And they're big, they're long, they're athletic, um, and that had a lot to do with it too. We weren't getting any second shots, so I think once we just kind of got used to the defense, that was really the difference. He's got two left. Uh, Mark, um, Mackay picks up two early fouls. He's yeah. uh, replaced by Mikel. Uh, you know, first, is that just kind of freshman growing pains for Mackay, and then second, how, how impressed were you to live Mikel? Like, yeah, uh, you know, Mackay fouls in practice, and so, he stops fouling in practice. He usually takes two or three weeks to carry over to the game, so we'll see. Um, I know he wants to play. I know he doesn't want to foul. Um, thought he played a little bit smarter in the second half. He had a foul in the second half running that guy off the line who already made a couple threes, so I didn't mind that one as much. Um, and then Mikel was terrific. You know, Mikel was better in practice all week except for yesterday, and I was going to start Mikel. But he just he took the day off yesterday, so I don't think he earned it. Um, and he he was terrific, and his post defense was good. He made an incredible play on the break, and Anthony threw it to him. And, um, so it's good to see. You know, they're, they're talented, and uh, they they keep getting better. That's that, that's the key. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks, guys. See you.